the special present from the universe, which means you have to have a certain mind frame when you do dungeon breathing. You have to know where the dungeon comes from. So if you don't have that mind frame about the dungeon, because it's a present from the universe for souls who are gifted enough to do it. So souls who want to find Because dungeon is not just about health. Because in fact, you get your health for, about, for a while, then you lose your health for a while too. Because dungeon is about also erasing your karma. Dungeon is about strengthening your energy so that your energy becomes stronger than your karmic energy. And dungeon is about strengthening your energy so your energy becomes stronger than your horoscope. Those who are unhappy with their horoscope, you kick that out too. <laughs> so dungeon has that kind of meaning because it's about enlightenment as well too. So those who just come, I just want to have 100% health for dungeon. You should go to yoga. <laughs> because dungeon has a much wider spiritual meaning. So if your karma is very deep, you, you may end up getting sick for a while too. But you have to keep pushing through breathing to get it through. So you have something called we call them um, uh, breathing flus. <laughs> because you're healthy for a while, and also you can be sick for a while too. There's all that has to clear it out through the energy. So dungeon has many many meanings, but the most important thing is it accumulates energy. So after you breathe, you should feel oh, I've got some power. That's how you should feel after breathing. You see, I've got some power here. But if you, but the dungeon is the place where everything should be centered. So if you leave here and your thoughts start going all over the place, what happens to that energy in here? It flies away. Mm -hmm. So within a half hour, how do you feel? The brain is empty, depleted. This is a vessel. It's like having a tank. Right now, it may be hard to feel, but after a few weeks, you start to feel a tank of energy here. So it's like having a full gas, full tank of gas. But if you go outside and start talking to a hundred people and blah, 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 all of a sudden you go, oh, God, I feel so empty. What is this feeling? You let all your energy fly away. The same with emotions. It's the storage of your emotions. So the same thing. You start getting, I'm so happy. Why are they like that? You're getting very emotional. And how's it done you? So it has that kind of meaning as well. But the dungeon is also transformation. So what it means is one week of breathing is equal to one month of evolution. One month of breathing is equal to one year of evolution. One year of breathing is equal to 10 years of evolution. So 10 years of breathing is equal to 100 years of evolution. So you can't even describe the rapid pace of evolution that happened. It doesn't make sense, but I'll give you an example. Um, what happens is you're going at the speed of the universe. So, you're, so you things that would take you eight hours to do, you can do in 30 minutes. Because you're so balanced and organized. Usually it take you eight hours because you're talking, your energy's all over the place. But that you're concentrating. What's the big deal? Just sit down. What's the task? Write an article. I've never written in my life. All of a sudden, after reading, I'm starting writing newspaper articles. I'm like, oh, you need a newspaper article? Give me 30 minutes. I'm like, how can I do that? In 30 minutes, you're writing newspaper articles. Most of them freak out and take them a week. So I talk to, after really start calling family members. And you realize, oh my God, these people. Uh, they're thinking the exact same thoughts they had 10 years ago, or 20 years ago. You talk to your friends, and the same thought patterns you carry with you your whole life. That's what I was so amazed by, but when you do breathing, you don't. All of a sudden, your, your thought patterns change so quickly that you, you, you're sped ahead. And so you're not stuck in that world anymore. But then, you, then that's real compassion, because you go out there and you meet people and they're still having the same thoughts. They haven't changed in 30 years. You, that's what, wow, that's, you have this amazing compassion. The people, if they're not breathing, their evolution pace is just going at that, at that pace. It's a very slow pace. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So that's what happens after a week, after a month. So if you say, I'm too busy, I can't come to breathing, trust me, like, oh my God, they just don't get it. Why do you think we're always thinking, are you coming to breathing this way? Are you coming to this way? They're just not getting it. Because when you are in a body, you can breathe. When you're not in a body, you can't breathe. Danyan only exists in a physical body frame. That's why souls are waiting in line, anxiously begging to have a chance to come to the earth. Because when you're in a body, you can have a Danyan can only be in a physical body. It doesn't exist in the invisible. So the souls also too, you know, I've talked to beings from other planets, they keep saying, the biggest thing, they're all jealous of the fact that we can breathe, because they can't. And you, if you set, you have to set your mind, what is important to me? Is evolution important to you, or is other factors more important? 
So I can say, breathing is one of the things I do. It's one of the hobbies I do. But breathing is not a hobby. I mean, yeah, if it's... Uh, anyway, it could be a hobby, I guess. It's a, it's a good hobby to have. <laughs> you know, at the lowest level, and at least keep it as a hobby. <laughs> you know? I mean, what if you if you're lying down and doing it in a concentrated way? You couldn't be, like, sitting and working and doing it. Of course not. I mean, no, I mean... Sitting down is the highest method of, of meditation. If you want to evolve the most rapidly, you need to sit down. But you can't sit down until you've made a container that has energy in it. You can. I don't call that meditation. I call that relaxation. Oh, yes, I can feel the wind outside. Mm. You know, sit there like Buddhist monks for eight hours. I did that. I sat eight hours a day in front of the wall. <laughs> but it's ridiculous because there's no real change happening. You have the same thought patterns the entire day. There's nothing. You need some shift in energy. Energy shift that pushes you forward. There's no shift in energy. It's just consciousness. If you read that paper, I get it. Most people like consciousness. They just use consciousness. You need consciousness plus energy. That's evolution. So you're, when you breathe, if you're breathing and you're thinking you're separate, that's not breathing. That's why breathing is hard. Like, I'm breathing, today I'm going to come, I'm going to go have a picnic, or you <laughs> Ten more minutes, look at what else I think about. <laughs> We're all there, I know. <laughs> but that's not breathing. Breathing is at least one second, ten seconds, where it's conscious and breathing together here. At least one second in your dungeon, you felt that wavelength of the universe for at least one second. And even that is a huge evolution for humanity. Even that for your soul is a huge step. You even have one second of, of that silence of touching the alpha wavelength of the universe. So, but if you can maintain that, into that we call it motion, no mind. If you can maintain conscious plus energy into the dungeon for 30 seconds, one minute, then you tap into the wavelengths of the universe which is the information about you. I think I've covered the whole lecture already. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Sorry, I get so excited about breathing. This breathing is, is, is what we all fundamentally seek for. Everyone, this is what they, everyone will listen to what they want. They keep saying, I'm lonely, I'm looking for something, I want spirituality. But everyone's looking for this fundamental. So all of us have a treasure inside, and that's this. Can I just ask you? Sure. So, in other words, say in the morning you wake up and you do lie down and you try and do this. Sure. Okay. And then you get up and you do whatever you have to do. Sure. Um, okay. Preferably with more energy. <laughs> and then, um, but you don't have to walk around trying to breathe all day like that. No, no. Breathing is during the time of breathing. You breathe. So give yourself thirty minutes. Give yourself an hour. Do the exercise. Exercises are important. Yes. There's five five exercises. Five elements. Okay. So, because you need to circulate energy every day. Yeah. Every day, every day we stagnate. You know? So you need to exercise every day, and then you go into into breathing, and concentrated, quiet breathing without thought, because the consciousness is here. So you got to give yourself at least five minutes, ten minutes to just think about the dungeon and it's all. And then live your day, but try to live your day thinking here. You don't need to breathe here, but just try to keep your mind here. So it means that fewer thoughts, fewer emotions, but that happens just naturally. Okay, so breathing is life and life, lifespan. So if we look at a dog here, a dog breathes very rapidly, right? So almost a hundred breaths per minute. So short breath, very short lifespan, right? So human beings, we breathe in about 20, 20 breaths per minute, so we live about 80 years. But a turtle, Breathe in two or three breaths. That's the best dungeon breathing animal. Of the, <laughs> that we, the other night at the lecture, you were there. We talked about how you can, should be able to bow down to nature and to a grain of sand. Why? Far more evolved than you. Look at their breathing. They can breathe in two or three, two or three breaths for at least 300 years. It's far better than we do. We won't go that long. That's another question, okay? But it just shows you the power of breathing. So in Danjan breathing, that's, that's actually uh, the goal you're trying to reach for. Breathing in 30 seconds and breathing out 30 seconds. So 
And you know, rather than how long you're going to live, you want to live, you want to die naturally. <laughs> yes. Have vitality and die naturally. And choose the way you want to die. But you have thought. You, Donna Brittany also pulls in 60 times more vital energy. Vital energy is the energy that changes your energy. So that's why Donna Brittany is vital energy that shifts our energy, that we shift ourselves, change ourselves. So lifespan plus life. So let's look at the dungeons. In different countries call it different names. In China they call it Tantian. In Japan I'm not sure they call it. Japan is Tantian, Chinese Tantian. Mm-hmm. It's all the exact same Chinese yeah. characters. I wish I had the Chinese characters. They all, those three countries use the Chinese, same exact same Chinese characters. It's like a fight over whether it's a flower or something else. Um, so Dan, Danjun, Dan means where what I say, energy accumulates, right? So this is the place where energy accumulates, so it's done. It's the place where, it's like, done actually means a field. So it's a field where energy accumulates and turns red. So in Tai Chi, they have all these complicated stories about alchemy, and, and even yeah, how all this alchemic stuff happens that comes up the spine, but that's what they're talking about, this process here. And then John is the, is the container. And this is where the energy is. So it's all metaphysical here. We're not going to cut open your guts and show me your <laughs> what container you have, but um, but you feel it. You feel it. It's very clear. And they say that the container, depending on the state of your mind, the container is your mind. So depending on the state of your mind, the container will be a, a perfect circle, or maybe like obtuse, or <laughs> which describes the state of your mind. So that's why mind plus Tanjin are the same. From the universe point of view, Tanjin is your mind. And in the East we say, this is the mind. So your conscious plus your heart are here. This is the brain. This is the mind. So Tanjin is the exact central part of the body. Uh, it implies balance. So uh, that's what it means. So what in the East, Confucius and all this teach talk about the middle way, the center, the balance. Uh, because that's what they're talking about here. So they're, they're breathing from here at that time. So, um, to achieve this fundamentally, we can have this through energy. So we seek for this middle way. It's the exact middle point of the body. It represents left and right, front and back, top and bottom. It's about two inches below our, our navel. But each person, when you lie down and you cough, you feel that spot. Everyone felt that spot? Yeah. So anyone, so show that to anyone because you don't know who's who's going to awaken or not, even just by showing them. Show, show children, show family members. Because I honestly believe that at some point, they will just by showing them that spot, that tells their soul the, the, to awaken. At some point, they will, they will have a karmic connection to this. Because um, it's like showing people their treasure. 